All right, there comes a time with every passing project that we get to a point where you can feel the satisfaction of all that hard work. Today is that day. It's a blustery day here in Portland, Oregon. We're changing from summer to fall. And this is the big old Nash Ambassador. It's a 1949 Air Flight. It's a two-door. It has 25,000 original miles. It's been here for some time while I've been waiting for parts. So parts have been trickling in, I've been fixing it up. And I'm very happy to say that we've made some good progress in the last few weeks. This car, let me repeat this and make it very clear, is now a driver. I've been driving it around. It's so cool, it's so big, it's huge. I mean, this is a, the true Mafia staff car. So I just wanna show a few things here. Uh, a couple of items and details that I think maybe I've forgotten to show. This is the interior of our 1949 Nash Air Flight with 25,000 original miles. And I'll start off with the with the gauge pod. You can see, well, maybe you can't see, 25,599 miles. I'm probably going to turn it over to 25,600 and something. But down below here, there's a lot of glare. I got all the gauges working. Let me turn the key on. Oh, by the way, the ignition key is beneath the steering column right here. You can see the temperature gauge is up on uh, the middle there. The fuel gauge rose a little bit. It's hard to tell. I don't have very much gas in there. And then the oil pressure gauge uh, kind of zipped up there a little bit too. And the charge light does go off when um, the car is running. All the gauges are now working, which is crucial if you want to drive a car. And best of all, it's got a great horn. You can push it or pull it. And then we've got our turn signals here. Can you see that blinking? That's our left turn signal. And that would be our right turn signal. A lot of really cool features of this car. This is the, um, uh, the headlights on this outer ring here. And this would be the dash lights, I believe. And under the dash here, we have optional fog lights right here. Turn those on. And this is the vacuum operated windshield wipers. You can control them um, infinitely variable. I'm not sure what that does. I think that's a vent. I haven't checked that out yet. Anyhow, uh, this car does have the radio. It's kind of the vertical wonder bar and the optional switches down here. See these two switches here? This one here and this one here look like dimmer switches. Those actually adjust the radio. That's right. It adjusts the radio preset. So when you're driving, you can just use your feet to adjust the radio up and down. The other button underneath the starter, I should say underneath the clutch pedal there, is the starter. And uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start it up and we're going to take it for a drive. If you've been following me, you know and when a car is ready for a drive, you'll see a camera mount in the rear window. Now this car is quite a bit larger than most of the cars that I video showcase. So you're probably gonna feel like you're a long way from me. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and fire it up and we're gonna take it for a drive. I'll show you how we start it up. First of all, you turn the key to on like that and then you just push the foot to the floor. Fired right up. Purrs like a kitten. You can see the oil pressure there has come up to about 30 pounds. Temperature gauge rock steady there on the uh, north side of cold. And uh, let's go for a ride. Hang tight. I'm going to hook this camera. All right. You're still with me. We're going to take this big old Nash for a drive. I don't know if you can grasp the space here in the back seat, but. Uh, we could have a dance right here. This is crazy. So uh, enjoy. I hope you can hear me way back there. I'll try to speak up. First time out in this Nash in 44 years since 1967. 
Again, I'm going to just turn the key, get the foot starter. If you purge the life, I don't think you can probably hear that. It's quiet. There we go. This is a big car. Try to turn around here. Huh. This thing has a steering radius of a tugboat. What a hoot! That is a big car. Big car. Thanks for